dream catchers protecting me from ghosts and fears which is good because I am afraid of cholera you know the disease that shrivels you up from the inside until you're empty it reminds me of a toxic friend it takes the very thing you need to live and when you have none left it moves on like a zombie zombies are horrifying right they stumble around too stupid to realize they're hurting others and there's no good way to stop them Sometimes I feel like a zombie. I hurt people and I'm clumsy, even though I don't mean to hurt them. I don't ask for help and I can't be stopped, unless you push me off a cliff. You know, I'm really not afraid of heights and I like being in high places. High places clear my head, but only because I'm too stubborn to let something like, I don't know, dying stop me, even though I don't want to die because no one knows me yet and that keeps me awake at night. Kind of like Henry, the ghost who's lived in my house for 246 years. I want to tell him to go away because he's making me mad or sad or any of those ugly feelings I like to forget exist because everyone else already has enough of them. And I prefer to see the good in the world, even though it gets really hard sometimes. Because man, have you heard of capitalism? It's a perfect reflection of all the greed and terrible things people are willing to do because they want to, and they can, because they think they own the world. But at least they can't own the rain? The rain is good and nice, and it likes to dance with you on a lonely Sunday night at eight. But actually, I'm told the rain isn't my friend, even though it cared for me when I didn't care for myself. The rain doesn't have feelings. The rain is just water. The rain has a routine. It wakes up every morning and turns into a nice fluffy cloud, except I'm told it's not nice. It's just a fluffy cloud. I don't see why everyone always has to be right, even when they say things that don't seem like they should be true. And maybe truth is relative, because I think the rain cares. I think the rain is here for you on those lonely Sunday nights at eight to teach you how to paint. I love painting, even though I hate art class. In art class, they share the greatness of the world in a PowerPoint presentation. Talking about Vincent Van Gogh without mentioning how he cut off his ear. They talk about Starry Night, but not about how it was painted in an insane asylum. They tell you to go, create something so they can grade it. And so, you've created a subjective thing. And then they frown at their clipboard and scribble something in red pen. Man, it sure is a good thing I like to paint clouds on my walls, because turns out I'm afraid of a lot more than just cholera. I'm your dream 